Well, here we are. This is uh, where we're going to do it. Show you what it's like now. It's just a fraction too big for this poly tunnel. And we're going to do it in poly tunnel. Noisy crow. The walk through inside. <coughs> uh, bit echoey. So inside for a minute. We're not doing anything. Uh, we will be battening it, flooring it, and then. Uh, We'll get it spray foamed and have to mask all these off, stop all cobwebs and things coming in. But yeah, as you can see, it's just a bare shell. In fact, the only care thing that's in here really is concrete blocks and uh, cables through to the bar thruster. Some bigger steps. I have got some down at other holes. But uh, yeah, so this is what we're faced with. And this is this is tunnel that we're gonna do it in. It wants a lot of cleaning, but we'll do that once we've uh, sanded it rough for the first time. It's a man sand, I got all this done, clean these edges up. We might have to uh, round a few edges off and coat them back up. Now, well, I'll finish my coffee and we better make a start. Yeah. It's all order. We haven't been faced with what we couldn't achieve yet, so watch this space and we'll see how we get on. So, try and stop as much dust coming in as possible. That's all these windows open. Probably have to take it all off one or two times, maybe with dust and everything. Because the one thing we don't have is the, the luxury of the spray bowl. So we should have to clean and try to do it up.
tape to all holds up down in bow and doors all last off on our windows. So we've just got this door down the bottom and then the holes where the cables are coming in or they've left for water. And uh, all inside cabins for now. A bit more difficult than I thought it would be. Just put a bit of tape on. Okay, so we know which is. I don't know all the different connectors or not, but anyway, let's just sort it out. So carrying on from yesterday, I uh, I didn't show you it start yesterday because uh, forgot camera. So not very good, is it? But yesterday we sanded all that part of the roof under handrails and uh, we just covered it over because obviously we're in a little polytunnel for this uh, paint job and uh, we're just going to finish the rest of the roof off today and this is what's on it's Jota Mastic 90 which is like an epoxy primer all surface primer so it sticks onto uh, any machined metal and uh, we're using 180 grit to uh, to get it down to this. Uh, roof really doesn't need to be that fine because uh, it's going to have anti-slip on. It's just going to need it here where lines are for mushrooms when uh, for rain to fall off. But it's a learning curve. I've not uh, painted a boat, so we started on roof, which is all going to be hidden and. Uh, and we can see how we go on. So for all out there who thinks I'm doing it right or doing it wrong, comments uh, appreciated. If you're a painter, any tips? Always uh, learning. And we'll, we'll crack on. I've just been to other boat and make a coffee. We've got all windows masked up. And, uh, 
Oh, chrome gear. Oh, chrome gear off. And we know this, uh, I know this place is mucky, but don't worry, we're not painting. Before I start painting, I'm gonna wipe everything down and uh, obviously try and get best environment that we can. So we've just stopped, it's absolutely stifling in here. What time is it? The kids are out playing, so from school, just up road. So yeah, 25 past 11 and oh, it's red hot in here. But good thing is there's no uh, there's no flies. We've been around with some spider killer and uh, fly killer, so hopefully that's working. And uh, we'll keep going around it throughout build to try and keep everything down. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get sand in after we've had this uh, coffee coffee break, and uh, and we'll see what uh, how today ends up. So we've got. Henry set up, took Sander, my tarbo, and uh, we're going to go over it, flash over it with uh, 120 grit, and then back over with 180 grit. We only used 180 yesterday, and this stuff, it, it made it tow a bit, so we're going to try it this way. And we'll see how it goes. This thing's brilliant. I've never seen, come across this before, but it's, uh, it's like a sandpaper with millions of rolls. I suppose it's for uh, this extraction and a sanding block, but mm, it's bang on. Bang on. So we can see difference. We've got uh, really orangey peely. I'm sanding through and getting it nice and fine. So I'll just this bit at roof to do and then uh, we'll start on the uh, cabin sides. Oh, take, oh there we go. We'll uh, take that hatch off and finish roof totally, I think. No oh, Henry wants to blow down, he's a bit mucky. So yesterday we got all roof completed so it's all really nicely sanded down and uh, just covering it over again for spiders which to be fair not many uh, they haven't been in since i used that spider killer that seems to be decent stuff working uh, working well you yeah, know that's what i used and uh, it seems at least what last week or so whatever Whatever walks on it, fix them up and uh, <coughs> excuse me, kills them. Oh, it's stifling in here again and it's only nine o'clock. So we're going to sand this side down and uh, it's just a bit shaded. 
prompts on because it's artist day today. All down this side, then it'll be a good day. With light not being as good side on. It's proving a bit hard to see breakfast. We've got we took it down to this you can still see orange peel underneath so we've done that with 120 and then we're going to put 180 with it on there and uh, take the rest of it but we'll just go a little bit further up with 120 grit but the one thing that i have found we're doing it all that uh, these sandpapers they don't last very long so you can be sanding away and not getting anywhere you have to uh, be prepared to buy decent sandpaper and uh, go through discs so we'll try and keep away from edges it's 9 40 it's hottest day here as you can see the sweat just dripping off me and i've done absolutely nothing yet so, plan B, I'm going to have to show some leg, I'm going to have to go put my shorts on, God it's hot, so we'll make a coffee while we're there, kill two birds with one stone and uh, see what we do, hopefully it'll make it a bit cooler. Using this dry coat guy, Pro Excel. Never used it before. Show you highs and lows. It goes on alright. And I think I've gone as near as I dare to stand it. Pinch it off by hand on edge. Really impressed with these little, these blocks and 
some like uh, uh, really good. Oh, what's ended today?